Over the years, it has been kind of a hobby of mine to make a new Christmas light control system every year and improve on my design every year. My first ever Christmas light control system was inside this box and it kind of worked, but it didn't work that well. I just used a bunch of relays that I scavenged from microwaves and other sources. All right, so the next year, I made a newer and improved version of my Christmas light control system, <clears throat> and this one was actually really cool. So I made these little tiny nodes, and they're RF controlled, and as one plug on the output and one plug on the input, and you just plug it in and plug your Christmas light strand in, and it'll be turned on or off by an RF transmitter, which is this device right here. Um, this idea actually worked very well. But sadly, it rained the first night that I brought out this new system, and none of my nodes were protected against water, and so it kind of ruined the whole system. Well, now fast forward to this year, and I've made my best Christmas light system yet. So this year, I decided to go with a MIDI controller. And a MIDI controller is actually really cool because I can have this MIDI cable that plugs into my computer or my MIDI piano, and it will plug right into this circuit board controller. And the Arduino will decode the MIDI signal and turn on different lights corresponding to what MIDI signal is being inputted. Now I designed these circuit boards in Easy EDA and had them printed in Easy EDA, and they were sent to me pretty quick. Um, I, all the components here are from LCSC. I'll put links to those two um, companies in the description. They're kind of the same company, actually. All right, let's dive in to how this circuit board works and what it does. All right, so first off, before I show you the schematic, um, I applied to Caltech, and I'll be finding out if I get in probably sometime in March. So wish me the best luck on Caltech. All right, so now to this. This is the schematic of my circuit board. So it's pretty good. It's actually pretty simple. There's a lot of parts, but a lot of parts are just repeated. So right here, we've just got the Arduino Nano, and that is the microcontroller that controls everything. Right here, we have an opto isolator, and this opto isolator is set up in a specific way to receive MIDI signals and isolate them, and then send them into the RX pin on the Arduino. This is the MIDI port. I just had to put two here in order for the schematic to function correctly. Okay, now right here we have two of these 74HC595 shift registers. And this allows you to use three pins on the Arduino to drive 16 pins out of here. And so that's what allows us to control all 16 relays with just three output pins on the Arduino. Right here we have an audio jack. And the main purpose of this is to input the audio for... Uh, the Arduino, so that way it can discern frequencies and run in a different mode. I'll talk about that later. The audio signal goes in through this capacitor and through this little resistor network to give it a bias voltage before it goes into one of the analog pins. Other than that, that is pretty much the schematic. These are each of the individual relay schematics, and there's basically a 1K resistor driving the base of a 2N3904 transistor, and that drives a relay with a flyback diode on it, and there's an AC in connection right here, and these are all the AC out connections. That's pretty much the schematic. It's very simple. All right, now this is the actual circuit board layout that I made. Now I'll make a video explaining how to do this later. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the circuit board, and if you click these, you can see the different layers. And I'll include the Gerber files for this in the description. So these are the two actual circuit boards. As you can see, they are very nicely made. Um, everything on here is perfect, down to the traces and all the vias. And even the silk screen looks really awesome on here. You got the nice Tanner Tech logo down there. That is an important thing to have. All right, so now it's time to solder these circuit boards. Now there's no real tutorial on how to solder these and insert all the components, pretty much what you do is you just look at the silk screen and you look at your layout on the computer and you just insert all the components that you have and then you just solder the back and it should work. There's not much to it. So now here comes the hard part. We've got all these components. I've got a ton of them. I have 18 of these connectors, a few of these in MIDI port, 16 relays, like six, uh, 17 diodes, 17 resistors, all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a lot to put on here, but 
let's get it done. All right, so when you're doing a uh, circuit board and soldering everything in place, you really wanna start with all the smaller components first, or at least I like to. So first I inputted all the diodes and resistors, then I moved on to the slightly larger transistors, and then all the IC sockets and uh, these sockets for the Arduino. Then I moved on to some LEDs, the headphone jack, um, and now I'm starting to put on these blue uh, terminals. All right, so this is the final completed circuit board right here. It looks really nice. Now I would lift it up and show you the soldering underneath, but it's nothing special, just normal soldering. And also it's all wired up and I don't want to lift it up and move any of the wires out. So I'm just gonna leave it right here for now. Now you may be wondering what this thing is on side here. All right, so this right here is an important addition to my circuit board. It is this thing right here, and it plugs into the 8-pin dip socket that this chip was supposed to plug into. This chip right here is the 6N136 microchip, or opto-isolator. Now, I kind of got the wrong chip, and I should have gotten the 6N138 opto-isolator to work for this project, but since I got the wrong one, I had to make a few minor modifications on this miniature circuit board and add another transistor in order for it to function correctly. And this does in fact function very well. Right there is the Arduino Nano and that's actually running the code to drive this whole entire circuit board mechanism. Right, so this is the Arduino code that runs my entire Christmas light display. Now remember this is just one of the codes that runs uh, the MIDI input signals. Now I took this code off the internet from some Arduino forum somewhere. I'm not sure exactly who created it. All right, so now how this code works. So after it includes the midi.h library, in the loop program it will read constantly uh, the midi in signal on the RX port. And then based on if the note is on, then it will run the note on program. If the note's off, then it will run the note off program. Uh, the note on program basically just writes uh, pitch to the shift registers, and this writes them to both shift registers, so both of them are just acting in parallel. And this isn't the best way to run this program, but hey, it looks good. Um, the note off pretty much just sets the shift register, all the pins to zero. All right, so now that your circuit board is done, I'm going to show you how I put this whole circuit board into practice and how I connected it to all the Christmas lights, my MIDI piano, and my computer inside my front yard so I can make those videos that you watched where I played my piano and it played the Christmas lights. So let's start by taking a look at the circuit board. So if you look around, you may not see what is controlling my whole Christmas light system because it's kind of hidden but it's right there under that little box. All right, so this is it. This is the whole control system that holds the Christmas light board. So let's lift this up for you. And there it is. So let's dive inside here, take a closer look at what's happening. All right, so if we look here, I have the extension cords that go to all the Christmas lights, and I cut off the male head of the extension cords, and I actually tied them in to these terminals on my relay board. So this extra microchip right here is very useful because all I have to do is plug it in to the circuit board and it'll turn all the lights on. So if I don't want to run any music on here, I can just plug this in and the Christmas light system will go back to what it normally is. So the whole system, if you look right here, is being powered by this little outlet that goes up to an outdoor plug. This wire right here goes to power all the relays and this small little power supply, powers the circuit board and all the logic components. Now as you can see over there, that is my USB cable. And I have an extremely long USB cable of about 30 feet. And that USB cable runs all the way out here and into my computer. And my computer also has another cable that is being plugged into it. And that cable goes to my MIDI piano. All right, now in the front of my house, I have quite a few Christmas lights. I actually have two strands on this bush right here, two separate strands. I have two strands on the roof of the house, two strands on this bush. I've got some strands on the palm trees over here that you can see in the video. I've just got a bunch of different Christmas lights. I think I have uh, 10 or 12 different uh, channels 
for my MIDI control system. Another problem that I'm going to address with this system is the covering for it. Now I know a lot of people are going to be asking how waterproof this system is. It's literally just a box covering it. There's no seals or rubber or anything. Well, I live in a place that never rains. It probably has rained maybe once this whole winter. Um, it hardly rains at all here. We're pretty much in the desert. So I don't really worry about rain. Besides, uh, my whole control system is under the eaves and it has a bunch of bushes around it, so it's pretty protected from the rain. And so the elements don't really harm it. The circuit board is also pretty well made and um, it's not very susceptible to water damage. So overall, the whole outdoor enclosure for this system makes it work perfectly. All right, so you guys sat through my whole tutorial on how to make this whole Christmas light system and how everything works. Now it's time to get to the fun stuff. I will be showing you me playing the Christmas light system. Now, there are multiple ways to run the circuit board because I made it so open-ended. Um, one way is just plugging in uh, an aux cord and running a certain program on the Arduino that will analyze the frequencies coming in from the aux cord and it will turn on different lights accordingly. And there are multiple different ways to run the MIDI program. Now the first way is straight up plugging my uh, MIDI piano into my computer and then plugging my computer into the circuit board and playing the piano with some actual notes being played on the keyboard. Now, this is pretty cool because I can play actual songs on the piano. I practice piano and know how to play. And it would play a relatively cool light show. Sometimes the lights would look kind of random because I was playing notes and the notes correspond to very weird light configurations. I'd never fix that bug in the code. But the light display isn't as cool as when you actually play a separate song, such as a song from YouTube, and then synchronize your piano playing to that song. And now I know some of the keys on the keyboard that correspond to the different light sequences coming out of this board. So you'll notice that there are some songs that sound like I'm playing them on the piano and you'll see the lights light up to the different notes. And you'll also notice some songs where it sounds like a professionally recorded song and I am just playing along to that song. Not playing notes that correspond to any notes in that song, but just playing notes to synchronize the Christmas light display. So without further ado, here is my presentation of some different songs that I've played on the Christmas light display. All right, now these circuit boards look awesome and I can guarantee you there's a lot of people watching this video who might want to have a Tanner Tech Christmas light control system circuit board. Now, I have a contest so that way one person can win. So I've got this box of NPN transistors. Um, I've just pulled these from different locations. Now here's the challenge. Uh, you gotta guess how many transistors are inside here and put that in the comments. Um, I will pick the first 
right commenter that comments the right amount of transistors inside here, and I will mail them this circuit board. As always, thanks for watching, and good luck winning the circuit board. You just plug it in, and it runs. Oh, dang it, plugged it in the wrong way, didn't I? Dang it.